Hello again, guys. My name is Jordan. Welcome to Campus Rex Yoga class. Uh, just some household items. Make sure you guys have a bottle of water nearby, maybe a towel if need be. If you're feeling really tight or you have a block or a pillow um, available, maybe you bring that, grab that now um, so you don't have to get it during or middle of class. Make sure you have plenty of room, whether you're inside, make sure you're not near any chairs or tables or anything like that. If you're outside, you're in a safe area. Uh, feel free to play your own music since you guys are muted. Just make sure that I am loud enough. Also, make sure right now you guys swipe or go over my screen on your laptop and pin me so you're getting both a visual and an audio cue for today's class. I teach a vinyasa style type of yoga, so connecting breath with movement. Um, typically, we'll warm up, we'll do our standing poses, which can be pretty hard, it gets the heart rate pretty elevated, but then we dial it back down for the last 10, 15 minutes class, getting into our hips and our back bends on the back. Um, at any point, feel free to take a break. Typically, if you want to rest, we come to a nice, easy child's pose like this. However, um, if that's uncomfortable for you and you don't like putting your head on the ground, I'll give a lot of options where you can just sit up with your head off the ground. You can sit on your cross, butt cross-legged. You can lie on your back, whatever is honestly most comfortable for you guys. Uh, this is yoga. You know your body the best, so listen to it. Everything I say is a suggestion. I'll give regressions and progressions to make the poses harder and easier. It's Friday. Just enjoy the day. We're happy you guys are able to make it. Um, and again, just listen to your body. Take it as you like, right? Um, so we're going to get started. We are going to start off, let's start off lying on our backs today, all right? Just like this. I'm going to sit up so I can talk to you guys. You can hear me nice and well. Your hands can be at your sides. They can be on your belly. They can be overhead. Maybe you put your right hand on your belly, left hand heart center. Legs can be extended out. Or you can come to butterfly stretch, lying on your back where your feet are touching. Whatever is most comfortable for you for this first part of class. And then starting slowly closing your eyes. Before we even start bringing any attention to our breath, send that attention. First off, saying Happy Friday. You made it through the week. Being happy and grateful that you're able to practice today. You took the time out of your day, your week, to focus on yourself. Hopefully that brings a smile to your face. And then let's start to bring attention to that breath. As we inhale through the nose, expanding the diaphragm, the lungs forward as much as we can, expanding outwards, the chest follows. And then exhale through the nose again. We call this our Ujjayi breath. And as you started utilizing more, you're gonna feel the heat building in your body. Continuing that breath work. And if you want, maybe you inhale for four count. Hold it at the top for a four count. And then exhale for a four count. We call that box breathing. Nice way to train your breath, your diaphragm. Really taking control of it right now. A lot of times we don't even think about it. It's so autonomic. It's so important to our daily lives. Maybe we set an intention whether it be for today's class, this weekend, next week, the month, whenever that intention may be, whatever that intention may be. When you need some extra strength, or you need some extra flexibility, have it in the back of your mind, always thinking about it. And 
And then start to scan your body from the tip of your head down your neck to your shoulders, your chest, your stomach, your hips, your legs, your shins to your ankles, and all the way down your tippy toes. Scanning and finding where you may be a little tight today, or you may be holding some extra stress from the long week. Then maybe with every inhalation, imagining sending oxygen or positive energy to that specific spot or area. And then visualizing on the exhale, it leaving your body. Maybe you're able to hear with that Ujjayi breath as you exhale through the nose, kind of making that ocean whoosh sound. A few more rounds of breaths on our backs. And then when you're ready, you can keep your eyes closed if you like, it's up to you. We're gonna bend our knees, place both feet flat on the ground. Ankles, feet, knees, and shins are gonna be touching. Arms are down at our sides. And we're gonna windshield wipe our knees side to side. Nice and easy. Starting to get some motion in our low backs. Nice and slow and controlled. Hopefully you're able to go further and further each time you touch each side or go back to it. Nice and controlled. And then meeting back center, you're gonna bring both knees to your chest and give yourself a nice big hug. Lift your chest and head off the ground. Really squeeze everything in, thanking your body, loving yourself for being here, loving your body for being able to practice today. Then you're gonna release your head back down towards the ground. Keep your knees and shins up in the air. We're gonna to come to a 90-90 position. From here, focusing before we do any motion, really rotate your pelvis, activate that core, drive your low back into the ground so your entire spine is touching the ground. From here, we're gonna extend our right leg out, keeping the left knee up in the air. Extend it out. You're going to hover it six inches above the ground. And then bring it back up to 90 degrees. Now we're going to switch our left leg. Extends out. Back up. Good. And we're going to alternate back and forth the entire time, making sure you're driving that low back into the mat. That's a nice, easy cue and way to activate that core. Good. We're gonna do two more times on each side. Nice little variation of uh, dead bugs before we get started. One more time each side. Good. Last one on the left. And then once we are back at 90 90, extending your arms out, making a letter T, and you're gonna allow your knees to fall over to the left side. You can keep your legs at 90-90, or you can extend the bottom leg, up to you. Take your left hand to the top of your right knee, apply a little bit of overpressure, and then twisting, looking over your right shoulder. I'm not looking towards or over my right shoulder so you guys can hear me, but again, looking softly, gazing over it. Inhale, exhale, twist. One more time, inhale. Exhale, twist your deepest. Inhale, coming back, center knees are back at 90 degrees in the air, and then drop them over to your right side. Take your right hand now to the outside of that left knee, apply a little bit of pressure, and then softly gaze over the left. If this is too much, you can extend that bottom leg or bring your arm down along your torso, up to you. Inhale, expand the lungs. Exhale, twist. One more time, inhale. Exhale, twist your deepest. 
Inhale, coming back center. You're gonna extend your left leg out in front of you. It's gonna come flat to the mat. Keep your right knee to your chest though. Give it a nice hug, pulling it in. You can pull your knee straight towards your chest or you can pull a little bit more towards your outer right shoulder, up to you. Maybe you wanna make circles with your hip in the air. Maybe you wanna make circles with your ankle in the air. Lots of options here for a couple more breaths. Making sure on every inhale, creating space. And on the exhale, pulling deeper. One more time, inhale. Exhale your deepest. And then you're gonna switch your grip to grab the back of your right thigh. And then you're gonna straighten your leg up towards the ceiling for a hamstring stretch. You can climb up your leg to the back of your knee, your calf or your ankle. Make sure though you relax your head down towards the mat. Make sure your ears are not shrugging, they're away from your, or not your ears, your shoulders aren't shrugging, they're away from your ears. And if you want, maybe you pump your foot up and down like you're pressing the gas pedal. For a few more breaths, again, inhaling, creating space. Exhale, pull a little bit deeper. Might still be tight, that's okay. Inhale. Exhale, pull. One more time, inhale. Exhale your deepest. You're gonna release your right leg down and meet your left. Now bring your left knee to your chest. Give it a nice hug. Pulling either straight center or towards your outer left shoulder. Options are you can make circles if you like with your hip. Try and make sure you go in both directions. Maybe you make circles, get some of those cracks out in your foot or ankle now. Two more breaths here, inhale. Exhale, pull. One more time, inhale. Exhale, your deepest. And switching that grip to the back of your left thigh, straight it up to the ceiling for a hamstring stretch on the left side. Making sure you're keeping your shoulders relaxed away from your ears, head is on the mat. You can climb up your leg depending how you're feeling. One side might be tighter than the other, that's perfectly fine and normal. You can pump your foot up and down if you'd like. A little extra stretch. Good. We're going to take two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, pull. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, pull your deepest. Release your left leg down and meet your right. Inhale, arms are going to reach up and overhead for a full body stretch. Expand, point your toes, extend to the fingers, elongate, feel tall here for one more big breath. Inhale, exhale it all out. And then using your core one vertebrae at a time, coming to sit in a no, oh no, nice tall seated position. Legs are gonna be extended out in front of us. Inhale, arms are gonna reach up and overhead. And on the exhale, hinging at the hips and folding. Hopefully now we did already a couple hamstring stretches. This feels okay or a little more comfortable here. We're gonna take three breaths. Make sure you're elongating and reaching with your chin, not just folding down. Inhale, create space. Exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale. Exhale a little bit deeper. One more time, inhale. Exhale, your deepest. Slowly begin to rise one vertebrae at a time. You're gonna bend your knees so we can roll over knees, ankles, and shins to come to all fours in tabletop position. Knees are underneath your hips, wrists are underneath your shoulders. So like cat cows, inhale, we're gonna drop the belly, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, push the mat away, become a bridge, arching our spine towards the sky. Inhale, drop the belly, look up. Exhale, push away. Continue this on your own, at your own pace. Really connecting the breath with the movement here. If you need to shift your weight back and forth a little bit, that's okay. Just a couple more rounds. 
Getting some mobility in the low and mid backs. One more time, inhale, exhale. Beating back center. We're gonna stretch our wrist flexor. So I'm gonna face you guys. We're gonna twist our right hand. Fingertips are gonna to face towards you. First, you're gonna flatten your palm out, bend your elbow, and then lean your hips slightly backwards. From here, if you want, you can straighten your elbow or you can keep it slightly bent. Try and keep your palm as flat to the ground as you can. Just doing one at a time here. Good. Now we're gonna switch it. Now your palm is gonna be on the ground. Fingers are facing you. You're gonna slightly lean backwards. If you want a little bit more, you're gonna rotate clockwise or clockwise direction with your arm, adding some rotation for a little bit extra of a stretch for the wrist extensors. Inhale. Exhale. Place that right hand underneath normally. And then left hand now is going to flip. Palms are, or fingers are facing you. Palm is on the uh, ground first, bending the elbow, and then lean back. After that, if you want, then you can try shading your elbow, leaning a little bit further back, or you're just keeping your elbow slightly bent. Up to you. Whichever you choose, try to keep your palm flat on the ground. And then place the top of your palm on the ground. Now fingertips are still facing you. Lean backwards. And if you want, now going in a counterclockwise direction of rotation. Make sure though your fingers don't move. You're just adding some rotation. A little bit extra of a stretch for one more breath. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Face that left palm back underneath. Normally, so we're in tabletop position. We're gonna lift opposite arm, opposite leg here. Starting with our right arm and left leg. Inhale, rise up. So right fingertips are pointing towards the ceiling. Left toes are pointing straight down towards the ground. You wanna be in one straight line here. Also, a lot of times people tend to arch their back like this. Make sure you hollow out very slightly so you're in one line. One more breath here, guys. Inhale. Exhale, lower down. Other side, now inhale, left arm rises up, right leg lifts. So left thumb is pointing up towards the ceiling, right toes are pointing down towards the ground. Again, make sure it's slightly hollow out to find out your spine and your pelvis here, extending through the fingers and the toes. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Now we're actually gonna come to our first child's pose. Knees, ankles, and shins can be touching. If you wanna take a wide knee, you can, up to you. Try and make this a little more active here. Typically, this is a recovery pose, but I want you to really push yourself into your heels. Feel a little bit of a stretch here. And then from here, let me twist so you guys can see better. We're gonna walk our hands over to the right. Coming to a nice side body stretch for the left side. Focus on reaching out, not so much as walking over. Reaching as far out diagonally for a nice stretch, especially for that lat. Inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale your deepest. Inhale, walking your hands back center and then walking it over to the left side now. So we're getting a nice side body stretch for the right side. Again, reach out with that right hand diagonally, not just over, reach out away from you. You got two breaths here, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale your deepest. Inhale, coming back center, lifting the chest, coming to hero's pose. And then we're going to meet in downward facing dog. So come to tabletop first, lifting up to the top of a push up. Feet are about shoulder width or two fifth foot apart. And then lifting and pushing back, downward facing dog. You want to be like an upside down V, working out your kinks, meaning if you want to walk your dog, bending one knee at a time. Maybe you swing your head, yes, no. You sway your hips side to side. Whatever you gotta do to get comfortable here. Making sure you're not shrugging your ears and your shoulders. Really pull them back, externally rotating your hands into the ground. All 10 points of your hand are connected to your mat. 
Then we're gonna go through some sun salutations, get us really warmed up. We're gonna walk our feet towards the top of our mat here. Feet are glued together. Inhale, half lift, looking like a number seven. Fingertips hover. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. Arms are gonna reach up and overhead. Exhale, dive through the midline, back down, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, fingertips hover off the ground. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, plank pose, top of a push up. Lower down, chaturanga, flat to the mat. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift the chest, straighten your arms, cobra. Tuck your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Two more sun salutation A's, just like that, nice and quick. Walk your feet towards the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift, fingertips hover. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, arms reach up overhead, gaze up. Exhale, dive through the midline, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, fingertips hover. Exhale, plant your palms, go through a flow. Step back, plank pose, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, straighten your arms, cobra. Tuck your toes, push back, downward facing dog. One more time, guys. Walk or maybe take a baby hop to the top of your back. Inhale, half lift, fingertips hover off the ground. Exhale, fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, dive through the midline, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, prepping for a flow. And then exhale, going through that flow step or hop back, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, straighten your arms, cobra. Tuck your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Inhale that right leg up and behind us, three-legged dog. Exhale, step in between both palms, low lunge. So making a nice right angle with that right knee. Left knee's nice and straight. So have a nice strong foundation here just for a little bit. We're gonna drop that back knee, untuck those back toes. Inhale, arms are gonna reach up and overhead. And on the exhale, twisting towards the right. The left hand's coming to the outside of that right knee. Right hand can just hover or it can touch your back thigh. You're going to lean your hips slightly forward. It's a little bit extra of a hip, left hip flexor stretch. If you want to stay facing forward, you can. Adding a twist can make it a little bit tougher. If you want to make it more extreme, you can bend that left knee and try and grab your uh, left ankle or foot. That's up to you. Making sure, though, try not to lean forward. Try to stay upright. Just for two more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale your deepest. Rotate, chest back forward. We're gonna tuck our toes. We wanna shift our hips back, straighten that front leg for a half split. Keep your butt up in the air. And we're gonna take that twist again. The left hand's gonna come to the outside of that right shin. Right leg is straight, and then fold. If you wanna take a full split or monkey pose, you're more than welcome to. If you're in a half split, try and keep your butt higher. I find that it's easier to get more of a stretch here. The twist is, of course, optional. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale your deepest. Coming out of that full split, if you took it down, then everyone meeting back, rotating forward, shifting your weight back towards your front knee. We're going to lift that back knee off the mat, coming to low lunge again, setting up a nice strong foundation here. And on your next inhale, we're going to rise up high lunge. Straighten that front leg. Exhale, bend it. Lean forward, arms, arms swing through to your torso. Inhale, rise up, high lunge, straighten that front leg. Exhale, re-bend, sway through, arms come to your torso. One more time, just swing through. Inhale, arms rise up, high lunge. Straighten that front leg. And then I'll bring that back foot just enough so it's flat on the ground. Exhale, lean forward. And then drop your head and hands and fold for pyramid pose. So both legs are straight now. Both feet should be flat on your mat. If you have a block or pillow, maybe use that to bring the floor closer to you. 
Relaxing your head, allow the gravity, pull your torso and your, the crown of your head down toward the ground. Just a couple breaths here. Inhale, exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, exhale, fold your deepest. From here, we're gonna transition to standing split, lifting that left leg as high up into the air behind you as you can. Inhale, lift up. Good, holding it here, hands are on the ground, maybe they hover. Get that left leg as high as you can for five, four, three, two. Challenge here, try and lift yourself up, swing that left leg through, bring your knee to your chest. So I'm transitioning over here so you guys can see better. Good. Last pose, guys. Bring your hands cactus. Setting up for eagle, right arm. We're gonna wrap underneath that left forearm. Try and interlock your palms. This is too much. You can just touch it in the center. Wrap that left leg around your right. Try and wrap it behind your left shin. And then drop your butt down for eagle pose. Elbows bent, press those palms away. Drop that butt, squeeze everything for three, two, one. Release everything, feet are flat, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, dive through the midline, Uttanasana forward fold. Nice job, guys. Hang out here for a little bit. Taking whatever variation you want, so hands can dangle underneath. You can cover your ragdoll arms, meaning grabbing opposite elbow, swing side to side if you'd like. Maybe you're able to grab your toes and pull yourself deeper. Whatever you take, make sure to allow gravity to pull the crown of your head down. We're gonna take three more breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Two more. Inhale, create space. Exhale, fold. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, your deepest. Good. Prepping to go through a flow now. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your palms. Hopper step back. Plank pose. Slowly lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, straighten the arms, cobra. Tuck your toes, push back, downward facing dog. Other side now, inhale, left leg lifts up and behind us, three-legged dog. On the exhale, step in between both palms, low lunge. Setting ourselves up here, nice right angle with that left knee. Right knee is straight for now. Then drop that back knee, untuck those back toes. Inhale, arms lift up and overhead. And on the exhale, twisting towards our left. I'm gonna twist around so I can face you guys. So again, twisting towards our left, right hand comes to the outside of that left knee, left hand can hang behind us. Maybe you grab your right thigh, maybe you grab that right ankle. Make sure to lean those hips forward for a nice right hip flexor stretch. This is too much, just keep yourself center facing forward. Good. Two breaths here, stay nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale for one. Good, one more time, inhale. Exhale for two. Rotating back center if you're not already. Tuck your back toes, shift your butt back, shaping that front knee. Inhale, express the chest. Exhale, fold for a half split. Maybe coming to a twist, placing your right hand to the left or outside of your left shin. If you took full split on the other side, try and do so here, or monkey pose, just trying to be symmetrical and balanced. Good. Wherever you are, two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale for one. Inhale. Exhale for two. If you're in full split, coming back to half split, everyone rotating back center, and then shifting away back towards our left foot, Lift that back knee up, low lunge here. Setting yourselves up, nice strong foundation. On your next inhale, rise up, high lunge, then straighten that front leg. Exhale, rebend that front knee, hinge forward, arm swing through, longer torso. Inhale, rise up, high lunge, straighten that front knee. Exhale, last time to do this, bend that knee, hinge forward, swing through. Inhale, rise up, high lunge, straighten that front leg. 
Then bring that back foot in just enough till it's flat on the ground. And on your exhale, hinging at the hips and folding for pyramid pose on the left side. Again, both feet are flat on the ground now. Both legs or knees should be straight. Try and keep your hips square. Right now, you tend to want to open up towards the right, keeping them square to the ground. Option to place a pillow or block underneath, bring the ground closer to you. Allow the crown of your head to pull you down, or gravity pull the crown of your head down for two more breaths. Inhale, exhale for one. Inhale, exhale for two. Setting up for standing split. Inhale, lift that right leg up and high as you can behind you. As high as you can for five, four, three, two. Ready to lift the chest, swing that right knee up and hover here. So I can face you guys. Good. One more pose. You got this. Arms come to cactus. Left arm now wraps underneath right for eagle arms. And then wrap that right leg around that left shin. Or if you can't, like I can't, just hovering it there. Lift those elbows high, press those palms away. And then drop that butt down. Eagle pose. Squeeze everything together. Hold it for five, four, three. You got this. Two, one. Drop that right foot to meet your left. Everything. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, dive through the midline. Uttanasana, forward fold. Awesome job, guys. Hard part's over. We're going to start dial it down now. Wiggle your feet to the outer edges of your mat. About shoulder width apart, if not wider. Slightly angle your feet outwards. And then we're going to drop our butt down from the Lhasa Yogi Squat. This is a personal favorite of mine. You can love it or hate this position, I know. Hands, try and get them heart center. Maybe you're able to get your elbows to the inside of your knees to push them out. This is too uncomfortable. Maybe you place some pillows or blocks underneath you, your butt to sit on. Try and keep your feet flat here. Options are, if you want, you can rock into each ankle. Maybe if you want, you can add some twists, since we did a good amount of those today, using that arm on the ground as a torque system. We're going to hang out here for about five to seven more breaths. Maybe you close your eyes. Think back to that intention you might have set at the beginning of class. Getting comfortable here. Again, keep that chest upright. Try not to hunch forward. Use your arms to push the knees out. A few more breaths here. One more last breath. Inhale. Exhale. Plant your palms, straining your legs. Rotate your feet so that they're pointing straight forward. We're going to prep for a flow here. Inhale, half lift. And on the exhale, plant your palms. Step back, plank pose. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, lift up, cobra. Tuck your toes, push back. Downward facing dog. Then drop down to your knees and come to your second child's pose. Take a water break, towel off, whatever you need to do. Again, option if you don't like your head being on the ground, sitting up in hero's pose like this. If you really want to, you can just sit on your butt, cross-legged fire log style, or lie on your back, whatever is most comfortable for you. Taking control of your breath again. Try to focus on lowering that heart rate and breathing rate right now. Really focusing on that exhale, activating or uh, engaging or re-emphasizing parasympathetic system, which has to do with a lot of autonomic nerves. It's your system, which has to do with your organs, and a lot of diaphragmic breathing and exhalation will help uh, engage that. So focusing on those exhales right now. Inhale, long exhale. Good. Few more breaths here. Whether you're in child's pose or in heel's pose, we're gonna get into our hips and then back bends. 
Tend to class. Alrighty, so when you guys are ready, leaning back in downward facing dog, or I should say tabletop, and then pushing back to downward facing dog. We're gonna get into our hips now. Inhale, right leg lifts up behind us. Exhale, step it through, right knee and shin to the top of your mat, drop that back knee, untuck those back toes. We're prepping for pigeon. Make sure that back shin is straight behind you, it's not poking out. Try and adjust your right foot to make that right shin as parallel to the top of your mat as you can. Square your hips right now so your outer right glute shouldn't be falling over. Inhale, express the chest. And then on the exhale, lowering down, pigeon. Again, if you fall over to that right glute, recentering yourself, try to get your left front aspect of your hip to touch the mat to get the most out of the stretch. This is too uncomfortable, you don't like it, it's too much. You can place a block or pillow underneath your right glute, or you can lie on your back, come to a figure four stretch. That's always a nice option. Hanging out here. If you start to get comfortable, maybe you wiggle or manually pull your foot further up, make it more parallel to the top of your mat. And then if mermaid is in your practice and you'd like to take that, you may now, where you lift the chest, bend that left knee, grab it and pull it in. That's the first step. The second step would be trying to get your foot in the crook of your left elbow. And the full pose would be locking your hands behind you with that foot in your elbow. Or you just stay down in pigeon like I'm doing. That's perfectly fine. Or if you're on your back in that figure four supine stretch, that's perfectly acceptable too. Whatever fits you right now. Wherever you are, we're gonna take three more breaths on your own. Nice, long, deep, powerful breaths here. And if you're in mermaid, making your way back down to pigeon. So we're all in the same place. Then everybody planting their palms, lifting the chest. We're gonna tuck our back toes. When you're ready, we're gonna kick back three-legged dog, right leg is up in the air. Open up that hip to the right side. Allow that left heel to sink further towards the ground. Keep your shoulders square. Inhale. Exhale, lower that right foot down and meet your left. Other side now, left leg lifts up and behind us. Exhale, left knee and shin to the top of your mat. Drop that back knee, untuck those back toes, making those adjustments, whether it be your back shin or your front shin. Wiggling that foot forward, adjusting. Make sure you're not falling to the outside of that left glue. When you're ready, inhale, express the chest, and then exhale, fold. And if you did that supine uh, figure four stretch on the other side, doing so here, we're trying to be symmetrical and balanced as we can. And as I've been saying through class, you may find that this side is tighter or might actually be looser. That's perfectly normal. And then again, if you get comfortable wiggling or manually pulling that left foot further towards the top right corner of your mat, Try and make your shin as parallel as possible. If you need to, you can place a pillow or block underneath your left glute. Getting comfortable here, trying to keep the spine long here, not hunching over. And then if you did so on the other side, lifting the chest, taking mermaid here, whether that be just grabbing the foot, Maybe get able to get in the crook of your elbow. Or you're able to lock your hands for the full pose. Again, just try to do what we did on the other side to be as balanced and equal as possible. Taking three more breaths wherever you are. Nice, deep, powerful breaths. And 
And if you're in mermaid, coming back down to pigeon, so we're all in the same spot. And everybody planting their palms, lifting the chest. When you're ready, tucking your back toes, kicking back three-legged dog, opening up your hip. Relax that right heel towards the ground. Keep your shoulders square. Inhale. Exhale, lower that left foot down to meet your right. Bending your knees. We're going to come to hero's pose. Make sure your toes are tucked here. Last bit of class, we're going to take three back bends. We're going to do camel, okay, which can be pretty intense. Try to avoid not to go into child's pose. It's just a lot of hyperflexion extension at once. We'll save that for the very end. So everyone lifting their hips. So you want to be 90 degrees at your knees, your torso and your hips though are in one line. Hands are going to go behind your back. Feet are tucked here, separated, almost kind of like in tabletop position. And then from here, we're going to press our hips slightly forward, and then lightly gaze up at the ceiling and lean backwards ever so slightly for camel pose. Inhale, exhale. Two more. Inhale, exhale a little bit deeper. One more time, inhale, exhale, coming back to center. Again, try and avoid leaning forward right now because we still have two more. If you want to be done with back bends, you want to hang on child's pose or take something else like bridge or um, full wheel, you're more than welcome to as well, okay? For the second one, we can stay with our hands behind us on our low back, slash upper glutes, or if you want to come down to your ankles or feet, you can as well. Up to you. I'm gonna hold on my low back just because so I can keep talking. And on your next inhale, leaning, pressing those hips forward, and then gazing up. Making sure if you're going down your ankles or heels, you're able to come back up afterwards. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale for two. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, three. Coming back to neutral. We have one more. If you don't want to do any more, feel free to just come back down to child's pose. Maybe you go back to put your hands on your low back. Maybe you try this. If you're able to, maybe you try and get your head down to the ground. I definitely cannot do that, so I will not show it. Again, making sure you're able to come back up if you go down, okay? Prepping now. On the next inhale, pressing those hips forward, leaning back. Just three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale for two. One more time. Inhale. Exhale, three. Then coming back to neutral, you're gonna allow your butt to fall down, your heels first. You're gonna lower your hands in front of your knees. You're gonna walk your hands slowly out. Then untuck your toes and push back to child's pose. Separate your knees so they're wider than hip distance. Wide-legged child's pose. Try and push your hands or your hips further back, a little more active than usual. Then when you're ready, lifting back up, facing me, you can either stay in here as well as you sit on your butt, come to fire log, whichever you like. Thank you guys again for joining me today. That does end our class. We'll end our class by putting our hands heart center. The light in me honors the light in every single one of you. We bow our heads and say namaste. Again, thank you for joining me today. Happy Friday. Stay safe, stay healthy. Be on the lookout next week for a schedule. I'll be on here for a couple more minutes. Have a great, fun, and safe weekend, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye now.